The new Mac Daddy wedges have beautiful lob wedges. Lob wedges are 58 and 60, and we have three different grinds in each of these lob wedges. All our wedges are forged for maximum feel. But you have to have design to, to have it work with your swing and the different lies that you're faced with in the short game. The first one is the C grind. And we have relieved the heel and the toe. And with the tight radius leading edge, when you open it up, you can get that leading edge under the ball without bounce affecting it too much. The second is the U grind. It has a wider sole, concave in the center, so you effectively get the leading edge under the ball and then bounce comes in a little bit later. But because of the tight radius on the heel and the toe and the tight radius on the leading edge, you're able to get that leading edge under the ball effectively. And the third is a standard grind, 10 degrees. Again, relief in the heel, but a little bit for a standard, typical swing, and we'll show you later on in our videos. I'd like to introduce Randy Peterson, Director of Fitting and Instruction at Callaway Golf. Randy, Hi, Raj. welcome to uh, Wedgeducation. The Wedgeducation. I need so to be Wedgeducated. Let's it's do nice a little to be bit. Here. Thanks. Let's uh, educate the folks on what typically you see in an amateur golfer that doesn't uh, create enough loft in their backswing. Okay, so. As you know, the pitch shot's really important, and we're just gonna go over what tends to happen with an amateur player and what we'd like to see happen the most efficient way. So most amateurs, when they struggle, they set up too square to the ball, they turn their body too much, take too long a backswing, and then end up in a position where they need to scoop the ball. Well, they don't engage the sole in the ground, they end up hitting the ball with the leading edge. Oh, so Bad things happen. That's not it. Nothing good happens there. Show, show so, us what to do. What we'd like to do is get the stance a little bit open, wait more on the left foot. The reason you're opening the stance is because you're trying to restrict the body on your backswing. Use your arms more in the backswing to just extend the club and let it rotate a little bit, and then rotate your body on the through swing. So it would look more like that instead of a big, long back swing, and then a scoop with the hands. So Randy was hitting the short, uh, the short pin there. What do you do with a longer pin? So a longer pin, I'd widen out just a little bit, and now as I go back, I'm still moving my arms, but I allow my body to turn a little bit more because I need more momentum to get the club speed I need, and then everything else is the same. Turn the body through, and right hold. hand still stays under the club. Watch all the videos to improve your short game with the Mac Daddy 2 wedges. So of the three grinds, the standard, the U grind, and the C grind, I prefer the C grind because I like to hit a variety of shots around the green. So I'll open the face, sometimes I'll close the face on a tight lie and get on the toe. And the C grind allows me to open and close the face without the leading edge changing elevation much. So it allows, it's very versatile, allows me to get the leading edge under the ball from all kinds of conditions. Phil's wedge, which is the U grind, which yes. has a concave in the middle, a little wider, but uh, actually it has less bounce than the C grind at 14. And you say, well, if it has less ground, bounce, why does it play like it has more? And that's the width. Right. So tell us what, what that wedge is for. Who is it for? So this wedge is great for people that are steeper into the ball. Phil likes to hinge his wrist and hit down real steep, as some pros do, and some amateurs are steep. There's nothing wrong with being steep. It's just you need a wedge that's going to complement that. And this wedge does that. Like you're saying, Roger, it has a wider sole. The bounce is farther back on the blade, so it allows you to get the leading edge under the ball before the bounce takes effect. The bounce will keep it from digging, but it allows you to get the leading edge under. If the bounce is too close, you're going to skip off the ground before it hits, before you can get the leading edge under the ball. Yep. So this wedge is phenomenal for people who are a little bit steeper into the ball. The standard, who is that for? The standard grind is great for people who hit not a variety of shots, but just like to hit one consistent shot. And there's a lot of those people that say, you know what, I don't want to, I'm not going to try trick shots. I'm, I get 
I lose confidence when I open and close the face. So I just want to be able to hit a basic pitch shot. And this sole is great for that. It's right in between those two. So it's, it, if you're a little bit shallow, it's great. If you're a little bit steep, it's great. But it's really good for people who just want to hit a basic standard pitch shot and aren't trying anything real special with their wedges. And there's a lot of those, there's a lot of tour players that play like that. Yep. They just want to hit a normal pitch shot and, and master that.